In this tutorial, we're going to do a quick overview of content library that comes with your Articulate 360 subscription. So when you log into Articulate 360, you should see a screen like this, and we're going to click on Content Library. Now online, the Content Library is a catalog of all the different assets available to you. You can see we've got a number of things. Now if we look at the assets, we have templates and characters, so we're going to click on Templates. You can see I've got a number of templates from which to choose. When I click on a template, uh, the catalog here will show me all the different layouts available to me. Now one thing to keep in mind is that these templates are available to you whether you're using Studio or Storyline. So you can download the templates and then do all your authoring within the tool that you choose to use. Let's go ahead and look at the characters. We're going to go to Content, Characters, and then we have two types of characters. We've got the photographic characters, and then we have these modern illustrated characters. So they're really kind of photorealistic and will work great in corporate training courses. When you click on the photo characters, you'll get a description, and then you can see all the different poses. And you have the same thing when you click on the illustrated characters, a description, and then all the different poses. Now one of the things with the illustrated characters as well is they have all those different expressions the poses, and then they have the left and right perspective. So a lot of options that you have when you're working with those characters. Now when you're actually building your courses in the authoring tools, that's when you can access the content from Content Library. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to open up Storyline, and then we'll see how we can add templates and characters and work with those in our courses. Now we're inside a Storyline, and we can insert a new slide from Content Library. So we're going to go to New Slide, Content Library. And this opens up my Content Library screen. I can see that I have templates, and then within the template I have stylized layouts, and they're all kind of cohesive and they fit together. I can scroll down. I can see here's another template with other layouts. Now some people may want to use the slide layouts from a single template, and that's okay because everything will be nice and cohesive, and that's one option. What I really like about Content Library is that I can mix and match the templates and the slides. So that's what I'm going to do in this demo. So I'm going to look for opening slides. So I'm going to use the filtering up here. I'm going to use opening slides, and I want to just look for light themed templates. So I've got all these different opening slides that I can use. And I'm going to mix and match a few. So let's go ahead. We're going to choose this one here. This is going to be our opening welcome slide. We've got a nice character on there. I'm going to insert that. And you can see the slide gets inserted into Storyline. When I click on the slide, this is just a slide like any other slide. So these are text boxes. I've got a character. I've got text box. Now it does assume a certain understanding of the tools because if I look at the timeline, some objects may be grouped together. For example, this right here is a grouped object which I can see. Uh, so section one is grouped. I can ungroup it if I want to and edit that, or I can expand it and work on it individually, right? So I can come in here and change the numbers or do whatever I want to do. But the main point is that these objects that are on your slide are pretty basic objects. They're text or images and things that you can work with. All you need to do is change your content. So we have a slide from one template. Let's go ahead and insert another slide. So we'll go to New Slide, Content Library. And instead of openings, let's go ahead and choose a content slide. And I'm going to scroll down. We'll just choose a content slide from a different template. I kind of like this one, so we're going to choose that. Insert that. And you can see that the slide was inserted. And just like the other slide, these are text boxes. And then some of these objects here are grouped objects. So they're easier to manage when you're working with them. But you can see they're grouped. If you want to, you can hit Control shift g ungroup them, and you can do your edits. Now one of the things I'll point out is when you're working with these slides, when you go to the Slide Master, they're all going to have their own template because they come from different template layouts. So that's something to consider when you're doing customizations. For the most part though, you can insert a slide and just edit it. And then what I would do is probably colorize them or choose a font so that they're all part of the same theme. So that's easy enough to do. Let's go ahead and select this slide, and we're going to go to Design. And we're going to apply a color theme here. Let's just apply the uh, Metro color theme, and you can see how that changes. right? So the Metro theme is here. I'm going to select this one because this comes from a different template. So I have to reapply that color theme, and I'm going to choose Metro here. So you can see how that works. Now when you do insert a slide, you'll notice on the color theme, that you actually have the themes from those two templates that you inserted. So there's the Harmony and there's the Chroma. So what you could do is just say, I'm going to select one of these themes. 
that came with the templates. Maybe I'm going to choose Chroma, and then this one is going to also be Chroma. And so now I can use a the color theme from one of the inserted templates. So a lot of customizations you can make that way, and you can do the same thing with your theme fonts. Now let's look at the characters. You'll notice in this case the slide actually had a character inserted, so I'm going to select that character. And if I double click on it, you can see it gives me access to the character. So I'm going to insert a new character from Content Library. So you can see in Content Library I've got my characters. Now some characters are already installed and some characters need to be downloaded, which you can see with these blue boxes. So let's do this. We're going to replace the photographic character with Zachary. So we need to download Zachary. You can see he's downloaded. We got the indicator and now I can select Zachary. I can uh, choose what I get right here. Maybe I want to change the expression. And I want to make it look like he's talking. And hit Insert. And so now I've got Zachary in there. So you can see how the characters work and the slides. If you want to insert a character on your own, let's go to a blank slide here. Just go to Insert, Character. Again, you get the Content Library window. You can sort through photographic characters. Our new realistic characters or the old classic characters that came with the original storyline. We're going to go ahead and insert a photorealistic character. Uh, we'll just choose one that's already downloaded. We'll choose Sylvia. And you can see I have my expressions. And then I have my poses. So we'll insert this here. And you choose left or right. And now we've got our character. And again, when you double click on the character, you can come over here and easily swap out the characters. And that's how easy it is to work with Content Library. So you've got a catalog that you can look at online and see all the different things available to you. And then you can work in your authoring tool, whether you're using Studio or Storyline, insert new slides, insert characters, and then you can do all sorts of customizations. So that's just a matter of you going in there and playing around and building your first course.